So he could have been sitting home with a full pension doing nothing. Yeah, and he, for a long time after, I, I, I didn't really sleep. Nightmares, PTSD, exhausted nerves, whatever. So he's some fucked up, but it's because. It, but see, he's a good guy. He it happened because his daughter got killed. I mean, it's no excuse, but at least he's not fucking around with other people and like involving his family. He's like a loner. He don't want to live, basically. Okay. Is this Woody Harrelson's kids. How's that case going? The big one. Working it. So his. No. They got money. Things like that didn't happen in these parts when I was young. People said, ma'am and sir. Family stayed together. You know, throughout history, I bet every old man probably said the same thing. And old men die, and the world keeps spinning. How are the girls? I, I got this lead. I got this lead I wanted to check up on. I told you about it. Uh, maybe your dad could bring you back. That is, uh, he didn't tell me anything about he it. He don't look too happy with that comment. This is a family day. I did tell you about it. I mentioned it. It's the new case. Okay, well, how about we all head back then? Hmm. All right, sweetheart. Come on, let's go! I love If he... If he's okay. going to hook up with Daddario and not really doing a case, then the, I hate his guts even worse. Her parents are, or her mom knows something's up. Her dad obviously dislikes him. He's an asshole. They all know it. You want me to talk about the woman had antlers? You want me to tell you about the kids disappearing? And maybe you'll stop with the poor me little whiny bullshit. So what a shithead. I hope she leaves him and I'm he trying fucking... trying to make you feel bad for me? Yes. You the poor... I feel so... Shit, I swear. I feel so bad for her because he knows he's full of shit. You're arguing with somebody who knows Even they're wrong. thinks you're a ball buster. You know you're wrong, so you're digging at the person. F oh, I hate him. Tell the girls dinner. Well, she was spared. Sometimes I feel grateful. The doctor said she didn't feel a thing. Went, went straight into a coma. And then somewhere in that blackness, she, she slipped off into another deeper kind. Isn't that beautiful way to go out? <laughs> Painlessly. As a happy child. Mm. That's fucked up. Yeah, trouble with dying later is you've already grown up. <laughs> Damage is done. It's too late. She was innocent. Yeah, kids. I think of the, the hubris it must take to yank a soul out of non-existence into this meat. And there's a force of life into this thresher. And as to my daughter, she, uh, she spared me the, the sin. Being a father. Hey, Kathleen. You little vixen. He is hey, messed up, but I totally feel father. for him. Of course. Okay. You got a suspect? Give us some more guys to follow up KAs, track records. So our bosses don't want you at all. You understand? I don't want you. You are upright only by the grace of this man's reputation. God damn, Cole. How many ways are there for me to say, shut the fuck up? That didn't look convincing. Well, you're a smart ass with your mouth shut. I was just gonna say, we've got a lead on a church. Right? Our Vic was spending a lot of time there. That's where we were headed. It 
could be the break we need. Inside, whatever they're putting over you, how much more time could you get us? Right now, it's up for discussion, but, you know, Tuttle's lighting the fire under this. Without a suspect, they're just gonna stop asking questions, Marty, and they're gonna give orders. That's that. Eh, he's not a bad guy. Casada, Major Casada. So they lump it into whatever the play is with the task force, yeah? He's just got pressure right. coming down on him. He's a good guy. Two weeks, and then you two start catching again. Yeah. I mean, not for nothing. They're both What's assholes in their own way. As the crow flies, y'all are wanting to ask about that big throwdown in the woods. Yeah? Benjamin, sure. Right now, we're just trying to track the case. How oh, cold worked it, especially. Which they... indicates you think I'm too thick to realize that y'all are trying to jam somebody up. You're on to something new. So Cole didn't want to give it to the task force. Did you? No. I did not. That didn't look very convincing. This is where they said, according to this map, it should be within these few miles. Well, oh, for that. I guess if it's one of those tent revival places, they move around. Yeah. Unless they see Tents a tent. Usually do. Up, oh, he sees something. Something up there. Oh, looks like an old church. It's not very big, and it looks disheveled. Oh, is it going to end there? It looks like an old church, but it is clearly burned down. Look at that stained glass window still intact. Stained glass windows, guys. The wire. If that was real, that was impressive, but I believe he's hallucinating. Wait, wait, back up. You saying you what? Hallucinated on the job? Mm. No, I mean, I, I could always tell what was real or what wasn't. <laughs> so when I'd see things, fuck, man, I just roll with it. You still see things? No. No, they stopped altogether. After I was in a couple years. No numbers on this place. Fire must have happened a long time ago. Clearly. I deal with abandoned buildings all the time and stuff for demolition work. That place has been abandoned a while. Just from the look of the structure and everything. Is that a big old owl up in there? Look at that owl. In the middle of the day? It's a little ominous. I love owls. I think they're awesome. Okay. Place is trash. This ain't no kind of anything. Based on the yeah, fact there are trees the growing thing. inside. It's there for years. Yeah, most of the time I was convinced that I'd lost it. Marty. Like for a tree that size to grow inside, it's got to be years because it takes a long time for a tree to grow in a building. There are other times. That's a scary picture. I thought I was mainlining the secret truth of the universe. What, what is that? Is that just like a creepy picture? I mean, I, I can see it's like a woman, but is it supposed to mean something I'm not getting? Because it looks like this episode is ending. I'm digging it, guys, but they are confusing me. Beautiful scenery. The 
That's it. Very interesting, guys. So we got to learn a lot about our characters now. We now we knew from the last episode that uh, McConaughey's daughter was killed. Then he said a car accident. I assumed he, maybe he was drunk or on drugs and driving and she died. No, they were just living on a road that had a wicked bend and she was on her tricycle and got apparently nailed. They didn't go too much into the details of who and how, but they told us she was on her tricycle and got nailed. So he had nothing to do with it. Then the reason he's so messed up isn't because he was on drugs and drinking. That incident drove him and his wife to fight. And then he became hardcore drug addict and basically just threw himself into undercover work. And when all was said and done, he killed a guy. And then they basically were like, do you want your pension? You can retire and you're done. And he was like, no, because I hate life. My wife left me. My kid's dead. I just want to be in the shit. And he went to homicide. They pulled some favors. He's highly respected and knows a lot of people and clearly knows his shit because he does not have any fear. He is a fighter. He like literally when when Harrelson threw him up against the locker, he was like not even phased. He's like, dude, you want to keep doing this? I'll break your hands like it's that easy. Like I love guys like that. I love guys like McConaughey's character where they show no fear and they know they always have you where they want you. Like Harrelson is a piece of shit. I totally flip flopped on. The, I, I didn't hate McConaughey in the first episode, but I thought he was a loser and like a drug addict. He kind of is a drug addict, but there's good reason for it. He is the family man. His life just went to shit. Harrelson, who I thought was the family man trying to keep McConaughey from doing crazy shit at dinner. He's the shithead. He's cheating on his wife. And I hate people that use the excuse. Well, if I don't cheat on her, then we're going to be like fighting all the time. And like, it's going to go to hell. So I'm doing it to save the marriage. No, you're not. Cause you and your wife are fighting every day anyway. And you're being an asshole. And now you're actually being meaner to her because she knows something's up and you're hiding it and throwing it back in her face. Like it's her fault. Hate him. Woody Harrelson's a piece of shit. Then he's then he's getting all moral with the the prostitutes at the bunny ranch like, oh, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. Now, I get what he's saying. And then he gives her money. So he is slightly nice, but he's just a horrible person. Like you got two little girls. You got a wife that loves you. She's constantly saying you're never home. I wish we could spend more time. Let's have family day. She's trying. Maybe we'll find out she did something fucked up. Maybe she cheated on him and I'll flip flop this whole thing because it seems like this show is giving us a little at a time. And it makes me feel a certain way of a character. And then the next episode, they're like, but we didn't tell you this. And then you're like, oh, well, now I know why he's a fucking shithead. It seems like one of those kind of shows. I've seen shows like this before where they just give you a, a like a couple pieces at a time and you got to like formulate your opinion of a person based on that. And then it keeps changing. Sort of like D'Angelo and The Wire, how I hated him in season one. But then at the end, I realized I shouldn't have hated him because of something I didn't realize was true that wasn't. Nothing's really been solved yet. We know the girl was at the Bunny Ranch, knew a lot of them, probably was prostituting. They said something about her father, the lady with the bad nails was her mom, basically gave us the assumption that her father molested her. So it was like, what's worse, staying home and getting molested or going and being a prostitute, at least getting paid for it and doing it how you want to do it. Nothing's good, but it's like the the lesser of two evils. So... Definitely interested in this, guys. Very intriguing. Totally different kind of show. I don't know what I'd compare this to. This is definitely like in a league of its own, but I definitely enjoy it. I love the actors, and I usually always love Woody Harrelson. This is the first movie I can remember that I actually despise his character. Even in No Country for Old Men, he was kind of a prick, but it's like he was my kind of prick. In this He's just an asshole and like maybe something will make me change my mind about him. But right now he's on my shit list and McConaughey is basically the man. Going to end it there, guys. You let me know what you guys think. Comments down below. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.